What is up, YouTube? Youth Director here with part six of my home theater riser build. Today, we finally get to put the carpet on top of the riser. I've never worked with carpet before, and I know that I'm gonna make mistakes along the way. But let's get after it, see what we can do, and hopefully we'll come up with a sharp looking riser that's gonna tie this room together. Again, it's a little bit harder than I thought. I knew it would be hard though. I've never done carpet before. It's very time consuming and tedious. You can definitely see the seams that I'm putting down, uh, but I'm okay with it because people aren't gonna be looking at that part of the riser very closely. And I think that it's, I think it's good enough, honestly. So let me give you a, a look at what we're, where we're at so far in the process. So far we have most of this side Pretty much done. That looks like it's a bubble, but it's really just carpet in one, one direction. So you can kind of see, you see the seam right there on the side in the corner where it's darker. So part of the reason you can see the seam though is because of the grain of the carpet. Same thing right here, but we've gone and done some of this side right there, but not a whole lot, just the seam. 
so that's where we're at. We're gonna take a little break, get back to it, and keep on moving forward. I think this is going to be a pretty good stopping point for tonight. Again, pretty tedious work to get this carpet done. I've never done this before. I'm trying to get it as straight as I can. Let me show you what I finished up on and then we'll get back to you guys in the morning. So here's what we got. So we ended up getting the steps on one side completed. And what we have to do now, what is left, we have to do this front side. We have to do the steps on this side. They haven't even been touched. And then we have to lift it up and tuck, tuck all of the carpet underneath there and staple it underneath the riser. And then we'll be done. Well, actually, we also have to cut out the holes for the outlets and things like that too. And then we'll be done. So anyway, um, we'll see you guys in the morning and pick back up there. Here we are with day two of installing the carpet on the riser. Woke up this morning with a pretty good text message on my phone notifying me that an addition to my home theater is in and I could come pick it up. So I went to pick it up this morning. I have it here at the house, haven't unboxed it yet. We'll do that in another video, but pretty excited. It's the most expensive piece of equipment I've ever bought for my home theater, brand new. Can't wait to uh, get it unboxed and get it plugged into this home theater. So let's get to work. I'm finishing this carpet and can't wait to get the room back together.
so close to having this project completed. I can taste it. Um, we still have the front of the riser to go. We gotta cut out the holes for the outlets and then lift the riser up and staple underneath. So let me give you a look at it real quick. I've already seen that side. And here's the other side. So get that front piece cut, get it stapled on there, lift this up, staple everything underneath, get those outlets ready, and we're good to go. Project will be wrapped up in just a little bit. And we are finished with the riser. I am so excited to be done with this. It's been a few weeks working on this, planning, figuring it out, getting all the materials, going back to the store to get stuff that we didn't have. 
learning how to do things I've never done before. So it's taken a while, but we are complete with it. Let me show you what we've got. I do say that for never doing carpet before, I'm sure I've made a lot of mistakes, but it looks really, really good. At least to me, it looks pretty professional. I'm extremely happy that I decided to tackle this myself. Decided to um, film the process, kind of hop into YouTube. You know, I've, I've been doing some stuff on YouTube before with my playing Euphonium and things like that. This is the first time I've actually taken a chance to do something outside of that because I love to work with my hands. I love to learn new things. And so this has been a great journey for me. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I plan on putting out uh, content whenever I can. Like I said in, earlier in the video, I had a surprise that came this morning. A new addition for the home theater. I'm going to do an unboxing on that before I get that set up. And uh, I'm going to do some movie reviews. Got some plenty of other, plenty of other um, improvements I want to make to the home theater. So I can't wait to film those and share those with you guys. So with all that said, thanks for being here. Thanks for sticking with me. Like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.